welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Happy, happy Saturday. As you can see, it's still dark outside because it's before 7 a.m. and I am at the grocery store to do this week's grocery shopping. I have such great meals planned. I cannot wait. So I'm going to get into the grocery store, do my shopping because I'm going to Jazzercise straight from the grocery store and then home to film this grocery haul, show you my meal plan and what I have for meal prep this week. So if you want to see my grocery haul, meal plan, meal prep, and all the things, just stay tuned. <laughs> So here's my grocery haul for this week. I did just go to Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store, and picked up all of my groceries for the week. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. I got some more almond milk. This is my very favorite. I love this coconut almond milk from Califia Farms. As far as ingredients go for almond milk, this is by far the best option. It has literally the best ingredients, and it is the same smart points, one per cup. So I was completely out of almond milk. So I have the Cliffia Farms toasted coconut, coconut almond milk. Yummy. And then I grabbed two cans of biscuits because I actually need these for a recipe and I need 15 ounces, but each can is only seven and a half ounces. So I went ahead and grabbed both and then that equals the 15 ounces I needed for the recipe. And these are actually lower smart points than the Pillsbury Grands. So if you can find just a regular biscuit, that's gonna be your best option. I grabbed this Dan and Light and Fit four pack of the strawberry cheesecake because it was $1.29 for four yogurt cups. They do expire on the 24th of January, so it gives me plenty of time to eat those. So that was a killer deal. I also got some egg whites and that way I have these on hand. Sometimes I just want one full egg, but I don't wanna waste the eggs because the ones I buy are pretty expensive. So I picked up these egg whites and this will help substitute the difference between two eggs. I'll just add a little bit of the egg whites to my full egg instead. I can't believe it's not butter light just to have on hand. We are about out and I had a great coupon for this, so I picked it up. And speaking of eggs, these are the two eggs that I really, really like. These Vital Farms pasture raised eggs were on sale for $4.99 a dozen, which is a great deal because they're normally $7.99 a dozen. So I picked up that. And then, you know, I love my happy eggs. I actually like these more than these. And they're le less expensive generally, but they were the same price because the Vital Farms was on sale. So $4.99 a dozen for each of these eggs. Roast beef from the deli for my husband for his lunch, but I wanted to show it to you guys because we can certainly have roast beef. We just have to work the little bit of smart points that it has into our day. I grabbed some hummus. For some reason, I was really craving hummus, so I grabbed this Hope hummus. It's organic, it's kale and pesto. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at that, yum. I love pesto anything, and I thought if we could get an extra dose of veggies in with the kale, that was a win-win. Also quite a bit of canned goods. I have some tomato sauce here for a recipe, pumpkin for a recipe, diced tomatoes, and then two cans of pinto beans for a recipe. I grabbed another package of the Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. I love these and I need these for an upcoming dinner recipe. This is a great substitution for any recipe that calls for sausage because you can have an entire half of a cup for two smart points. This is also a fantastic thing to put on pizza. Save you a lot of calories, but you can still get that sausage on your pizza. And then of course, two cans of my Fat Free Ready Whip. I was out, I've been going through a couple cans a week now, I know. It's ridiculous, but it's delicious and it's zero smart points. So picked up two cans of that. A box of chicken broth. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe and I had a coupon for the Simple Truth Organic brand. I also needed some vanilla and I have not made a trip to Trader Joe's which actually has my favorite vanilla, the bourbon vanilla. But I grabbed this, it was on sale for $7.99 for two ounces, so I'll have some vanilla extract. This was the free Friday download at Fred Meyer. Every week they do a free Friday download where you get something for free, and normally it's junk, it's candy usually. But this week it was the Simple Truth Roasted and Salted Pistachios. And I looked at this, and it is only 100 calories for the pack, and I thought that's a pretty good deal. So I think it's four points, but I'll put it on the screen. So I'm excited to have this. This is a great snack and it is only 100 calories and it was free, so you can't beat that. I also grabbed some Pad Thai noodles. I was actually looking for yakasoba and my store didn't have any. So Pad Thai it is and this is for an upcoming recipe. 
I also needed some packaged mixes. I needed gravy and I couldn't remember if I was supposed to buy brown gravy, chicken gravy, white gravy, I couldn't remember. So I went ahead and grabbed a brown and a chicken. That way I'm covered with whatever gravy I need for that recipe. And then also a package of chili mix. This is for a dinner recipe. And just so you guys know, I do not count points for my seasoning packets. If you wanna count points, that's entirely up to you, but I do not count points for any type of seasoning. Then I hit up my bulk section because I needed half of a teaspoon of fennel seeds. And you guys know I'm a big advocate for using your bulk section rather than buying a full size spice of something that you're never going to use again. So I grabbed about a teaspoon just to be safe of fennel seed. It cost me 17 cents. And then I also needed about a cup of almond flour. And I decided just to go to the bulk section. Now, this is one thing I probably would buy elsewhere because this little bag of almond flour cost me about $5.50. And I don't know what normal price of almond flour is in the prepackaged, but I don't use it very often anyway. So I'm not sure if that was a good deal or not. Let me know down in the comments if you are someone that buys almond flour. I know Costco has a great price, but I would never buy it there because I don't use it very often. Some diced ham, this is for an upcoming recipe. You guys, this is super low points. So this is great to throw in omelets. Again, you can even throw this on pizza. Anything that you want a diced meat for, this is a great option. And again, really low in points. And then I grabbed these. These were on sale for $2.50, normally $4.50. And I got these for this, because I thought, how good of a combo will that be? So these little mini non breads, they're super duper cute. So I went ahead and grabbed those and I'm going to dip those in that hummus. I can't wait for that. I also grabbed some light mayo because I was completely out and craft is my favorite. And then some yellow cornmeal. This is for an upcoming recipe. And this is great to have on hand because you can make a really low smart point cornbread. So highly recommend just having this on hand in your cupboard or in your pantry. Chicken breast. These were on sale for $4.99. This is a three pound bag. Not the best chicken breast as far as quality goes, but they were a stellar price, so I decided to grab a bag and throw it in my freezer. Also, potatoes. I needed about a pound of potatoes for a recipe, and I love these little baby petite white potatoes. I seriously love them, so I had to pick those up. And then before we jump into veggies and fruit, I did get some avocados, and I wanted to show you these because they do have points, and this bag of avocados was $3, so that was a good deal. They're small which is perfect because that way they don't go bad and you can use them up. So let's jump into fruits and veggies. So first I got some frozen peas, two bags because I needed them for a couple of upcoming recipes, some stalks of celery, some flat leaf Italian parsley, a green pepper, and I know this is ridiculous, but I have three bags of coleslaw because I need cabbage for two different recipes crazy. I don't buy cabbage very often, but I need it this week for two recipes. So three bags, three bags of coleslaw. And then I decided for my water, I was going to get Meyer lemons because it says that they're tangy and sweet. And this bag of five lemons was $3, which I thought wasn't a bad price because normal lemons, those big ones are a dollar a piece. And I really wanted to try these. So I'm going to use these for cooking and also for in my water. So if you are a Meyer lemon fan, leave that down in the comments. I just, they're beautiful. They're like so bright golden yellow. So I'm very excited to try those. And lastly, I picked up two one pound packages of strawberries. They don't look the best, but they were two for five. And that is my fruit for the week, along with the cuties that I had left over from last week. I've also been doing a lot of protein shakes with frozen fruit. So I'm not going through my fresh fruit as often because I'm using my second fruit for the day in that. So that is my haul from Fred Meyer or Kroger. So let's jump into this week's meal plan and meal prep. So let's get into this week's meal plan and what is on my agenda for meal prep. This is my Carrie L meal planner. There is a link down in the description box for 10% off. So definitely check that out. It's beautiful. It's comprehensive. It's everything you need to be successful with your meal planning, meal prep, and just helping you stay on track. So when you open it up, it's beautiful on the inside space to put your name. There are several tabs here for different resources for you. So the first tab is going to be where you can write down your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites. So it's just a great place to keep track of your favorite websites and recipes. 
Also, there's an inventory tab where you can inventory your freezer, your pantry, and also your spices so you know what you have on hand when they expire. And that just kind of helps you know what you have on hand so that you're not repurchasing items you already have. Meal plans, we'll come back to that. The gatherings tab, I use this anytime there's an event, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day is coming up, Super Bowl, this is a great place to track what you're going to make for your gatherings as far as food goes, everything for your kids and down to your supplies. And then there is a detachable grocery list for you to take with you to do the shopping for your particular event. So this is a really nice feature to have. I use it all the time. And then lastly, there's the notes tab. And again, that's just a place for you to take notes. I will often jot down recipes that I didn't print off, but I wanna keep on hand like this no bake one. So it's a great place just to take some notes. And then in the back, you have a little two-sided pocket folder. And what I'll do is throw my recipes in there for the upcoming week. And then that way they're just at hand. So when I go to make my recipe, I just pull it right out of the folder. So let's get into the meal plans tab so I can show you what we're doing this week. So each month under the meal plans tab, there is a calendar and it is a blank calendar and you can add whatever you want to it. I just track my dinners on here since I meal prep my breakfast and my lunches. So this is what I'm having for dinner for the entire month of January. And that way I have it at a glance so I know to take out the meat the night before and make sure that I have the ingredients that I need on hand for the next night's dinner. So I love this, I use it all the time. And also each week you actually have a weekly menu and you can track all your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you prefer. I only track dinner because I meal prep breakfast and lunch, but I write down what I'm having for dinner and then I make my grocery list and take it with me each week to the grocery store. So here is this week's menu. So my weeks go Saturday through Friday. So it starts today on Saturday the 18th. That is the day that I use my weeklies. So you won't see a dinner plan because we generally go out to dinner or lunch and it's just kind of a free for all on Saturday as far as what I'm eating for dinner. Sunday, I'm gonna be making chicken apple sausage with cabbage, and this sounds so delicious. You guys will see this recipe in my What I Eat In A Day next Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Monday is always a leftovers night because I go to Jazzercise. Tuesday, I'm gonna be making a copycat panda chow mein, but I'm gonna add some chicken to it, and we're gonna make it into an entire meal, so that sounds delicious. Wednesday is also a leftover night because I go to Jazzercise. Thursday, I'm gonna be making tamale pie, and this sounds really good. I've been kind of craving some low point Mexican food, and this is going to do just the trick. And then Friday, I was feeling pasta, so Friday we're gonna do a baked penne with sausage. So that is what is on my plan for dinners for the week. On the back side of the weekly menu is where I plan out my meal prep. It's just convenient and easy and all in one spot. So again, you'll be seeing meal prep on Monday. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a biscuits and gravy casserole. Doesn't that sound so good? I'm so excited for that. For lunch is a creamy lemon chicken pasta. So I'm excited to try those Meyer lemons in this dish. And then for dessert, I'm actually gonna be making a gluten-free pumpkin bar. And this pumpkin bar even has frosting and is WW friendly. So that is my meal prep again that will be posted on Monday. This is my Carriel meal planner. If you're interested, my code is here on the screen. It'll give you 10% off and there is a link down below. Click the link first and then enter the code at checkout for the 10% off. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul and meal plan and meal prep. I cannot wait to share all of these recipes for meal prep with you on Monday. So stay tuned for meal prep Monday video to be uploaded in the morning. You guys, such great meals. I cannot wait to share them with you. Also, if I picked up something that is new to you, let me know down in the comments. And if you know about those Meyer lemons, if they're, what's the difference between those and regular lemons? Because I'm really excited to give those a try. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you take a moment and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this video if you love grocery hauls and leave those comments down below. I love reading your guys' comments. Check out the description box for all of the links and discounts to my favorite things. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh -huh.